Peace and blessings. Thank you for joining Tribe Bakorim on this daily prayer and Bible reading journey. We will read through the Bible using the one-year Bible reading plan and end in prayer. Today is February 9th and we will be reading from Exodus chapter 29 verses 1 through 46 and chapter 30 verses 1 through 10. Matthew chapter 26 verses 14 through 46. Psalm chapter 31 verses 19 through 24 and Proverbs chapter 8 verses 14 through 26. Let's begin. Exodus chapter 29 verses 1 through 46. Consecration of the priests. This is the thing that you shall do to them, to make them holy, to minister to me in the priest's office. Take one young bull and two rams without blemish, unleavened bread, unleavened cakes mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil. You shall make them a fine wheat flour. You shall put them into one basket, and bring them in the basket, with the bull and the two rams. You shall bring Aaron and his sons to the door of the tent of meeting, and shall wash them with water. You shall take the garments and put on Aaron the coat, the robe of the ephod, the ephod, and the breastplate, and clothe him with the skillfully woven band of the ephod. And you shall set the turban on his head, and put the holy crown on the turban. Then you shall take the anointing oil, and pour it on his head, and anoint him. You shall bring his sons, and put coats on them. You shall clothe them with belts, Aaron and his sons, and bind headbands on them. And they shall have the priesthood by a perpetual statute, and you shall consecrate Aaron and his sons. Order of the Sacrifices You shall bring the bull before the tent of meeting, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the bull. You shall kill the bull before Yahweh, at the door of the tent of meeting. You shall take of the blood of the bull, and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger. And you shall pour out all the blood at the base of the altar. You shall take all the fat that covers the innards, the cover of the liver, the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, and burn them on the altar. But the flesh of the bull, and its skin, and its dung, you shall burn with fire outside of the camp. It is a sin offering. You shall also take the one ram, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the ram. You shall kill the ram, and you shall take its blood, and sprinkle it around on the altar. You shall cut the ram into its pieces, and wash its innards, and its legs, and put them with its pieces and with its head. You shall burn the whole ram on the altar. It is a burnt offering to Yahweh. It is a pleasant aroma, an offering made by fire to Yahweh. You shall take the other ram, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the ram. Then you shall kill the ram, and take some of its blood, and put it on the tip of the right ear of Aaron and on the tip of the right ear of his sons, and on the thumb of their right hand, and on the big toe of their right foot, and sprinkle the blood around on the altar. You shall take of the blood that is on the altar, and of the anointing oil, and sprinkle it on Aaron, and on his garments, and on his sons, and on the garments of his sons with him. And he shall be made holy, and his garments, and his sons, and his sons' garments with him. Also, you shall take some of the ram's fat, the fat tail, the fat that covers the innards, the cover of the liver, the two kidneys, the fat that is on them, and the right thigh, for it is a ram of consecration, and one loaf of bread, one cake of oiled bread, and one wafer out of the basket of unleavened bread that is before Yahweh. You shall put all of this in Aaron's hands, and in his son's hands, and shall wave them for a wave offering before Yahweh. 
you shall take them from their hands, and burn them on the altar, on the burnt offering, for a pleasant aroma before Yahweh. It is an offering made by fire to Yahweh. You shall take the breast of Aaron's ram of consecration, and wave it for a wave offering before Yahweh, and it shall be your portion. You shall sanctify the breast of the wave offering, and the thigh of the wave offering, which is waved, and which is heaved up, of the ram of consecration, even of that which is for Aaron, and of that which is for his sons. And it shall be for Aaron and his sons as their portion forever, from the children of Israel. For it is a wave offering. And it shall be a wave offering from the children of Israel, of the sacrifices of their peace offerings, even their wave offering to Yahweh. The holy garments of Aaron shall be for his sons after him, to be anointed in them, and to be consecrated in them. Seven days shall the son who is priest in his place put them on, when he comes into the tent of meeting, to minister in the holy place. Food for the Priests You shall take the ram of consecration, and boil its flesh in a holy place. Aaron and his sons shall eat the flesh of the ram, and the bread that is in the basket, at the door of the tent of meeting. They shall eat those things with which atonement was made, to consecrate and sanctify them. But a stranger shall not eat of it, because they are holy. If anything of the flesh of the consecration, or of the bread, remains to the morning, then you shall burn the remainder with fire. It shall not be eaten, because it is holy. You shall do so to Aaron, and to his sons, according to all that I have commanded you. You shall consecrate them seven days. Every day you shall offer the bull of sin offering for atonement, and you shall cleanse the altar when you make atonement for it, and you shall anoint it to sanctify it. Seven days you shall make atonement for the altar and sanctify it, and the altar shall be most holy. Whatever touches the altar shall be be holy. The Daily Offerings Now this is that which you shall offer on the altar. Two lambs a year old, day by day continually. The one lamb you shall offer in the morning, and the other lamb you shall offer at evening. And with the one lamb a tenth part of an ephah of fine flour, mixed with the fourth part of a hen of beaten oil, and the fourth part of a hen of wine, for a drink offering. The other lamb you shall offer at evening, and shall do to it according to the meal offering of the morning, and according to its drink offering, for a pleasant aroma, an offering made by fire to Yahweh. It shall be a continual burnt offering throughout your generations at the door of the tent of meeting before Yahweh, where I will meet with you, to speak there to you. There I will meet with the children of Israel, and the place shall be sanctified by my glory. I will sanctify the tent of meeting and the altar. Aaron also, and his sons, I will sanctify, to minister to me in the priest's office. God will dwell among the people. I will dwell among the children of Israel, and will be their God. They shall know that I am Yahweh their God, who brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, that I might dwell among them. I am Yahweh their God. Exodus chapter 30 verses 1 through 10 The Altar of Incense You shall make an altar to burn incense on. You shall make it of acacia wood. Its length shall be a cubit, and its breadth a cubit. It shall be square, and its height shall be two cubits. Its horns shall be of one piece with it. You shall overlay it with pure gold. Its top, 
its sides around it, and its horns. And you shall make a gold molding around it. You shall make two golden rings for it under its molding, on its two ribs, on its two sides, you shall make them, and they shall be for places for poles with which to bear it. You shall make the poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. You shall put it before the veil that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony, where I will meet with you. Aaron shall burn incense of sweet spices on it every morning. When he tends the lamps, he shall burn it. When Aaron lights the lamps at evening, he shall burn it, a perpetual incense before Yahweh throughout your generations. You shall offer no strange incense on it, nor burnt offering, nor meal offering, and you shall pour no drink offering on it. Aaron shall make atonement on its horns once in the year. With the blood of the sin offering of atonement once in the year, he shall make atonement for it throughout your generations. It is most holy to Yahweh. Matthew chapter 26 verses 14 through 46. Then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me that I should deliver him to you? They weighed out for him thirty pieces of silver. From that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Now on the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying to him, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain person and tell him, The teacher says, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. The disciples did as Jesus commanded them, and they prepared the Passover. Now when evening had come, he was reclining at the table with the twelve disciples. As they were eating, he said, Most certainly I tell you that one of you will betray me. They were exceedingly sorrowful, and each began to ask him, It isn't me, is it, Lord? He answered, He who dipped his hand with me in the dish will betray me. The Son of Man goes, even as it is written of him. But woe to that man through whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had not been born. Judas, who betrayed him, answered, It isn't me, is it, Rabbi? He said to him, You said it. As they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks for it, and broke it. He gave to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. He took the cup, gave thanks, and gave to them, saying, All of you, drink it, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the remission of sins. But I tell you that I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on, until that day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will be made to stumble because of me tonight. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you into Galilee. But Peter answered him, Even if all will be made to stumble because of you, I will never be made to stumble. Jesus said to him, Most certainly I tell you that tonight, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. All of the disciples also said likewise. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to his disciples, Sit here while I go there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and severely troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch with me. He went forward a little fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me. Nevertheless, not what I desire, but what you desire. He came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, What? Couldn't you watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you don't enter into temptation. 
the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, a second time he went away and prayed, saying, My father, if this cup can't pass away from me unless I drink it, your desire be done. He came again and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. He left them again, went away, and prayed a third time, saying the same words. Then he came to his disciples and said to them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Arise, let's be going. Behold, he who betrays me is at hand. Psalm chapter 31 verses 19 through 24 Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have worked for those who take refuge in you before the sons of men. In the shelter of your presence, you will hide them from the plotting of man. You will keep them secretly in a dwelling away from the strife of tongues. Praise be to Yahweh, for he has shown me his marvelous loving kindness in a strong city. As for me, I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my petitions when I cried to you. O oh, love Yahweh, all you his saints. Yahweh preserves the faithful and fully recompenses him who behaves arrogantly. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in Yahweh. Proverbs chapter 8 verses 14 through 26 Counsel and sound knowledge are mine. I have understanding and power. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule, nobles and all the righteous rulers of the earth. I love those who love me. Those who seek me diligently will find me. With me are riches, honor, enduring wealth and prosperity. My fruit is better than gold, yes, than fine gold. My yield than choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of justice, that I may give wealth to those who love me. I feel their treasuries. Yahweh possessed me in the beginning of his work, before his deeds of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, before the earth existed. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding with water, before the mountains were settled in place, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the beginning of the dust of the world. Lord, we worship you with gladness and sit at your feet now with grateful hearts. We know that you are our creator and have called us into a covenant relationship with you. We are your people and you are our God. We give thanks and praise to you because you are good and your love endures forever. Please forgive us for anything we have said, done, or thought that was not pleasing to you. Create in us clean hearts and renew right spirits within us. Bless us with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, maturity, discernment, and focused minds. Take away any thoughts or feelings that are not in alignment with you. Open our eyes to the wonderful things of your law and make it an engrafted word in us. May we live lives according to your will, denounce our sinful nature, lay our sins at your feet and walk in obedience to you for your glory. God, we thank you for consistently showing us unconditional love. We thank you for never forsaking us and not allowing anyone or anything to separate us from your love. As we seek you and spend time in your word and in prayer, we ask that you show us your mysteries, teach us how to wait on you and strengthen us to faithfully walk in all that you have called us to be. We stand on your word that you will never leave nor forsake us and thank you for equipping us to walk in the giftings and callings you have blessed us with. In you, we have all that we need to be all that you have called us to be. We present our bodies as living sacrifices to you and ask that you make us aware of your presence and what you are doing in the earth today. 
cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Keep our physical bodies, homes, modes of transportation, places of employment, bank accounts, credit and investments and communities safe from all hurt, harm and danger. Expose and obliterate anything that dares to come against your people. Bring complete and total healing to our minds, emotions and bodies. May your perfect will be done in the earth. We pray this prayer over ourselves and everyone connected to us in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May the shalom peace of God follow you for the rest of your days.